Hey guys, this is me Padma from Programmies and welcome back to this series on C programming. In this video, we'll learn about break and continue statement to alter the normal flow of loops in C programming. So let's get started. The break statement immediately terminates the loop when it is encountered. Before we move forward, let's see the working of loop first. Here I have used for loop. The loop starts from i is equals to 1 to i is equals to 5 and it prints the value of i. So let me run this code. As you can see, we get the output from 1 to 5. Now let me use break statement inside the loop after the print statement and I'll run this code. This time I only get 1 as output. Let's see what happened here. During the first iteration, the value of i is equals to 1. So when the loop runs, the value 1 is printed. Now after the print statement, the break statement is encountered and this break statement immediately terminates the loop. For more clarity, let me add another print statement after this break statement. So printf and I'll enter the message after the break. So let's run this. As you can see, we get the same output 1. This is because when the break statement is encountered, the loop exit and no other code of the for loop is executed. We generally use the break statement with the decision making statement like if else statement. This is why we can break a loop under a certain condition. Let's see an example. I'll use the same code from earlier. Here I'll remove this break statement and the print statement after that. Now suppose I want to end the loop when the value of i is equals to 3. So I'll add if statement. So if statement with the condition i is equals to 3 and inside this if statement I'll use break. Now I'll run this code. As you can see we get the output 1 and 2. Here during the first iteration the value of i is equals to 1. So this if statement is false. So we'll go to this print statement and 1 is printed on the screen. Now the value of i is increased to 2 and this statement is again false because the condition does not meet and again this print statement is executed and 2 is printed on the screen. When the value of i is equals to 3, the if condition is true and this break statement is executed and the loop terminates. Hence, we get the output 1 and 2. Let's now use the break statement with while loop. I'll create a program that will ask input values from the user. If the user inputs a positive value, it will be printed. However, if the user input a negative value, the while loop is terminated. I'll use the same code from earlier. I'll remove this for loop. I'll create a while loop that is always true. And I'll use 1 as a condition of while loop because we know that 1 represents true in C programming. So this while loop is always true. Now inside while loop, I'll declare a variable number. So int number and I'll ask the input from the user and I'll ask the user to enter a number and I'll store it using scanf function. Since I want to break the loop only if the input value is negative, I'll add if statement with the condition number is less than 0, then we'll break the loop. And if it is not negative, we'll print the value of the variable. So I'll use printf statement so percent %d and name of the variable that is number. Now let me run this code and I'll enter 5. You can see 5 is printed and I'll enter 9 and it is also printed. So now let's enter some negative value. You can see the loop terminated. Here you can see as long as we entered positive value, the while loop executed repeatedly. However, when the input is negative, then the if statement becomes true and the break statement is executed and it terminates the loop. 
Now let's move to the continuous statement. Unlike break, the continuous statement skips the current iteration of the loop and starts the loop with the next iteration. Let's see an example. In this code, we have used break statement to terminate the loop when the value of i is equals to 3. Now let me replace this break statement with continue statement. So continue and I'll run this code. Now if you look into the output, you can see the value 3 is not printed. Let's see why this happens. We know that the loop runs for 5 times from i is equals to 1 to i is equals to 5 and during the first and second iteration, the value of i are 1 and 2 respectively. So if condition is false for both iteration, hence the loop runs normally and 1 and 2 are printed. During the third iteration, the value of i is equals to 3. This time, if condition is true and continuous statement is executed. Now the continuous statement skips the current iteration of the loop and start the next iteration. So the program jumps to this update expression and increase the value of i to 4 and again for the value 4 and 5 the if condition is false and loop runs normally and 4 and 5 is printed on the screen. In this way for value 3 the continuous statement skips the print statement. Ok guys, we need your support to keep these type of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's keep the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. We now know the working of break and continue, let's use them together in a single loop. I'll create a program that takes the input values from the user. However, I want the user to input positive number only. So if the user enters 0 or negative number, I'll use the break statement to terminate the loop. Also to make the program more interesting, I'll only print the even numbers. So if the user inputs an odd number, I'll use the continuous statement to skip the loop so that odd numbers are not printed. Let's start now. Here the break statement is already implemented that ends the loop if the number is a negative number. Since we want to exit the loop if the number is either negative or zero, I'll change this less than operator to less than or equal to operator. Now I want to run the continue statement if the number is odd. So I'll add if statement with the condition number modulo 2 is not equal to zero. So inside if we'll add continuous statement. Here the modulo operator returns a remainder. So for a number to be odd, it shouldn't have a remainder 0 when it is divided by 2. So let's run this code. I'll enter 4. You can see 4 is printed because it is an even number. Now I'll add 7 and I'll enter I'll enter even number 32 and you can see this 32 is also printed. Now let's enter a negative value. So minus 3, you can see the loop is terminated. So as you can see when the input value is positive and odd number, this condition becomes true. So the continuous statement skips the print statement for the odd input value. However, when the input values are positive even numbers, both the condition becomes false, so it is printed when it is an even number. When the input value is negative, this condition number less than or equals to 0 becomes true, so the break statement terminates the loop. Now to revise what we have learned, it is a programming task for you. Can you write a program that takes an input from the user and print it if the value is a negative odd number? However, if the input value is positive in the loop with the message positive value and if the input value is negative even, skip the value with the message negative even. So our output will look like this. Go ahead and try the problem and share your code in the comment below. You can find the answer to this question in the GitHub repository and if you want to revise the concept, all the program used in this video are also present in there. Now that we have reached the end of this video, it's time for programming quiz. Which of the following keyword is used to skip the current iteration of all loop? Comment your answer below. See you in the next video. 
हैप्पी प्रोग्रामिंग